Hello everyone. Uh, I just wanted to do kind of a quick video. Um, as some of you may know, uh, well, I don't do many Nintendo games on my channel. Like, I don't let's play a lot of Nintendo games. And I just destroyed the shit out of that man. Uh, while well, I don't play a lot of Nintendo games on my channel, I am a bit of a big Nintendo fan. <laughs> um. Uh, as you'll see, as you could probably see with like um, how I kind of act with my other friends who are like big Nintendo fans and whatnot. Um, so today, I just kind of want to give my thoughts on something today. Uh, today, Nintendo announced the Switch, the Nintendo Switch, as they called it. It's basically been the it's the rumored NX that's been basically floating around since last year, I think. I forget when Iwata. Um, told I, I forgot when that uh that conference was where Iwata was telling all the shareholders that they were indeed making a new console and it was like going on the codename NX and whatever and, you know people are flipping out about it you know Nintendo's dying or whatever because he announced a new console so early but it you know it it's uh you know, and Nintendo didn't really come out and officially tell the public till last year, I think? Yeah, last year's E3 was when they officially, like, told the public, hey, the NX is a thing, we'll tell you more about it, you know, uh, later on, I think, I think is what they said. But they didn't really tell us anything about it until today. Um, other than Breath of the Wild would be on it. And we've seen some other games, actually... Uh, recently, or not only recently, but, you know, since then, that also have been announced to come to the Switch, like, uh, Sonic 2017 was announced to be on the NX, or Switch. I'm, I, I, I'm, it's gonna be weird for me for a while to switch between, or talk about between, uh, NX and Switch. Yeah. I was checking to make sure on Discord I wasn't still in and my friends weren't hearing me say shit. But yeah, so the Switch was announced today in this, like, little three-minute trailer. Basically, uh, to give you the short end of it, the Switch is... It's, as everyone theorized, it's uh, both a console and a handheld. Basically, like, you have a kind of somewhat standard controller. It has this big square thing in the middle. Um, there is, there was, like, a Pro Controller shown in the trailer. I'm not sure if that's going to come with the system. I hope it does. Because that's like one big thing that I'm hoping Nintendo learn from the Wii U is that people want normal standard controllers. And while the Switch's like main controller, you know, looks decent, uh, I think people would like to have that Pro Controller more than the uh, Switch controller. But you know, you, um, uh, what it is basically is like, you know, uh, you have, you know, you have this big, you, you have like, it looks like a normal controller. Basically picture like a PS4 or PS3 controller, but you have somewhat of like a big, like, square thing in the middle. That's basically what it is. And, uh, what you can do is like with this big square thing in the middle, um, uh, the sides of it, the sides that have like all the buttons and analog sticks can be taken off and hooked to the system itself, or at least a small portion of the system. And that, in exchange, I actually have no destination in mind, I'm just driving, by the way. <laughs> um, that, in exchange, like, turns, this tells the system, hey, you're wanting it to play it on the go or something. So you could take that out, and you can take, like, the system out and play your console games on the go. Um, they showed a couple games in the trailer. Most, m most all of them were probably in, like, a beta stage. Um, maybe not Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild's in its, like, final stages, I and mean, we all know that. Um, they might still- yeah, I guess you can still consider that a beta? I- I don't know. Um, but, you know, it showed off, like, Breath of the Wild. Um, showed off, you know, Mario, obviously. You got your Splatoon in there, you got Mario Kart. Um, although Mario Kart and Splatoon... I'm not sure these are the same, like, it's not Mario Kart 8 in the Splatoon that we have on Wii U, because it did show some features that aren't in, like, Mario Kart 8 and Splatoon, like some new hairstyles, and, like, King Boo for Mario Kart, for the Mario Kart segment, and also, like, two items, 
that were being held? Because I don't think you like, I know you can hold two items in Mario Kart 8, but I don't think they both display on the screen at the same time. So, kind of like double dash type thing, which, hey man, another double dash, I'm all for that. Um, Mario game, did I mean, kind of look like 3D World? I wouldn't say it looks like 3D World, to me it doesn't. It, it looks like it's going back to like regular Mario instead of party Mario. And yeah, driving in the dark in this game, <laughs> no, the crew isn't the best. But, um, yeah, you got all that, and it's, it, it looks, it looks nice, you got those, oh, so you got, like, your standard Nintendo games, and they also showed, uh, some third-party content, they showed you an Elder Scrolls game, might have been Skyrim Remastered, it could be the next Elder Scrolls, I don't know, I can't remember if they announced the next Elder Scrolls yet. Um, I imagine it's probably Skyrim Remastered, but... Um, they also showed NBA 2K, or maybe just regular NBA. I can't remember, is, is there a regular NBA still, or is it just 2K? Because I know there was regular games before there was 2K. I think other sports don't just do 2K. I don't know. But, um, you know, so they did show there is some third-party content. And that's very nice to see, because, you know, third, the Wii U didn't have third-party and fuck this little thing. I'll hit what I hit, but I don't care. Um... So you got all that in, you know, it, it's a very nice trailer. I'm not gonna sit here like describe every last little thing, but that's basically what they showed, is you can take this thing on the go, it uses cartridges, it's gonna have some third party games on it, and that's it, They all that's all they really showed in the trailer, which I mean, that's all I said, they were just, they just said, you know, it's just gonna be like an announcement trailer. Um, the trailer did leave me with like quite a few questions, it answered basically what it set out to answer, but hopefully Nintendo soon will be doing a, like some other update video or something to answer quite a few other questions that myself and a lot of other people have namely uh, what's the price for this thing I know it's like rumored to be like $300 which I mean for, for what it looks like you know I think 300 is a reasonable price um, uh, battery life is a major thing that needs to be said um, because if this is going to be a handheld, then it's got to have really good battery life, especially if it's going to be also a console. Because if you're going to have console games on the go, console games and handheld games are made very differently for very specific reasons. Because, like, they're made to fit two different types of demographics. You know, console games tend to be built for longer play sessions. Whereas handheld games are made to be shorter play sessions. You know, that's why a lot of handheld games you can save like almost anywhere and like console games you may have like specific save points and whatnot. I don't even know where the fuck I am. I'm literally just driving. But um, yeah, so that that's a big thing of mine is like... How are these games going to be structured? What's battery life? Because if the battery life is ass, then it's going that's going to be a major problem with this system. Because you cannot have an ass battery life with, with something where you're gonna want where you're gonna have console games on the go. Like the Wii U's like gamepad has an ass battery life, but I always have it plugged in, so. There's that. And um, battery life price. Um, some people want to know specs. I don't personally. I don't understand specs. Like if I saw a big screen of specs, I honestly wouldn't understand a single word that's going on screen. Like, dude, it's gonna have a GP 240KX processor and 50 trillion gigabyte RAM something. I I I have no idea what the fuck any of that would mean. But, yeah. Um, those are basically like my big concerns. Like, I like the NX, or I like the Switch. I like the idea of the Switch, especially like, like you could take the controllers off the side of the screen and like prop the screen up so that you could play like multiplayer games or you could play, you know, just like, like for, for me personally, if I had this thing, I'd probably have it like propped up on my end, on like my end table next to my bed and then just like lay down and for my bed and, and play games. Like, I like that, um, number one thing I really want to know is launch window games. 
I mean, I'm a Nintendo fan, and, and uh, <laughs> sorry to say, but Nintendo fans are a lot like Apple fans. No matter what it is, it, we'll buy it. We, we don't care. Granted, I can be somewhat a bit more critical of, Nin of Nintendo than some other people. Like, honestly, Breath of the Wild just doesn't look that interesting to me, I'm sorry. Yeah, I mean, if Skyrim's gonna be on the same system, then what's the point of getting Breath of the Wild? But, uh, that, that's just me. Um, if other people want to play Breath of the Wild, then fine. Um, main reason I wanted to get, do this whole video was because I know if, uh, my friends and I do, like, a podcast type thing where we all get our opinions in, like, I usually either don't get, like, mine shared enough or my friends try to, like, boo me out and say I'm wrong or I'm worrying too much or they'll try to make up a bunch of bull bullshit and I don't mean all my friends I'm specifically talking about a certain Canadian you know who you are gamer but um yeah that's um I mean like I said I like the I, I like the switch the switch looks cool but I need to know launch window games, I need to know, like, what exclusives is this thing going to have. Not really, I don't even need to know launch window games, I need to know price, I need to know what games will be within the launch window, what games will be just coming out on it, period. Like, we have Sonic 2017, fuck the train. Um, we got, you know, we got Sonic 2017, we got, you know, Zelda. You know, it looks like we're going to be getting, like, new Mario Kart, new Splatoon, or just, like, slightly updated versions of both games. Um, new Mario, stuff like that. You know, all the guaranteed stuff... Oh, is this... I thought this was an edge. Oh, it is an edge. I don't know where the fuck I'm going. But, you know, um... I'd like to know all this stuff. Because... Breath of the Wild, like, I need to also know what games are going to be exclusive to the Switch. Because, that's my thing with multi-platform games. Like, multi-platform won't sell me on a system. It's what took me so long, because I, it's what took me so long on, like, getting, like, the next system between the PS4 and Xbox One, which, I mean, I own both of them now, but I wanted to, like, decide, and, like, I've always been a PlayStation guy more than an Xbox guy. Like, I've never owned an Xbox till my Xbox One, so... There's that, but I need to know exclusives. If there isn't a whole lot of like really good exclusives for the thing, then it'll be a good while before I pick it up. Like, mate, like I don't know. And unless, <coughs> holy hell, throat. Um, unless like all my friends jump ship from Wii U to Switch. Oh god, that's so that's gonna be a weird thing to say. I didn't realize that switch to the switch. Ugh, Nintendo, you and your weird ass names. But they made the Wii work, so I, whatever. Weird name doesn't necessarily mean the qual the product won't sell well. Um, yeah, that's uh, that's all I really had to say. I think you know, talk about the system, talk about some worries I have. I like I said, I do like it. Um, it's not a, like, day one buy going down to pre-order right now and whatever. At least not for me. It's more of a wait and see what games are going to be on it. Because if it's just, like, Breath of the Wild, slightly updated Splatoon, slightly updated Mario Kart with nothing but maybe, like, one or two new tracks or one or two new, new maps and hairs and whatnot in Splatoon or Mario Kart Splatoon, respectively, um... I've just been going in circles. I'm gonna go the other way. Uh, but yeah, if it's just gonna be those, then it's yeah, it's gonna be a waiting a while. And like Skyrim Remastered, that's on everything. Once that comes out, so it's like Sonic 2017. Um, I don't know. That's that's all I gotta say. Um, I have a feeling my friends will want to do like a podcast where we all talk about it. So if you guys want to tune into that, you can find out like their opinions. And I have cops on me, so I'm probably gonna end this real soon. So yeah, I will see you guys later. Maybe hopefully I can update the finale to Journey today or tomorrow. I meant to upload it uh, yesterday, 
but I had completely forgotten. <laughs> I did. I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh, I was busy all day. Whatever. No, I was lazy and forgot. I spent the entire day watching Adventure Time because I got into Adventure Time DVD and, and that took priority over remembering to upload Journey. Um, but yeah. Um, if you guys want, if you guys, uh, you know, leave your thoughts on what you think of the Switch in the comments below. And I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.